My beautiful souls, and welcome to the Hawk and I. Life's an experience, a journey of lessons, bumps, bruises, scars, heartache, pain. And sometimes those, those experiences take us into a journey of healing, releasing, understanding, loving ourselves. My spirit guides have been with me through my own healing journey, head held high. I have had to go into some deep healing within myself, some shadow work, some inner child work, and understanding the process and loving that part of myself and letting it go, putting it down. And there are so many different ways of going through the healing process. There are many different healers, self-help books, people that you can lean on. And one of the greatest things that I like to kind of remind people on their healing journey is when you get to a point where you've kind of gone through the processes, you know, have gotten to some peace, some letting go, there's a point of spiritual maintenance and healing maintenance and being able to understand that we can do our healing work every day if we need to. We all have a backpack, a spiritual backpack that we all kind of carry. And at some point we, we pick things up on our journey and we kind of put it in our backpack and, and store the experience there. And I have been working really hard over the last several years to go through my backpack daily. So every single day I will take off my spiritual backpack and I will take a look in there. And if there's anything in that backpack from my day, I unpack it and, and work with it in the moment. I don't carry it forward. I don't want anything heavy to ever build up again, ever build up again. I don't want to carry heavy stuff from day to day. Now, some of the things that I do to heal, depending on what the situation is, sometimes I'll just simply put it down and remind myself that I don't have to pick that up. If it requires my attention, if it's an emotion or an experience that requires my attention, I give love to it. I give love and an understanding. I allow myself to feel it. And then I allow myself to put it down or to release it. The bigger things do require a little bit more work for me. And some of these tips and tricks, if they resonate to you, wonderful. If they don't, you can simply leave them here. When it comes to the bigger things, for me, sometimes what I will do is I will take those experiences outside. I'll take a crystal with me. I love rose quartz. Rose quartz is unconditional love. And what I will simply do is I will take the experience out of the backpack. I will ask the rose quartz to hold it. I will add my own love and energy to the rose quartz as well. And I'll take that experience out for a walk into the forest or out for a walk down to the river and I'll sit with it and I'll allow myself to, to feel the lesson, to learn it. And with unconditional love, when I'm ready, I put it down. I put the rose quartz down. I put the experience with love down and I give myself permission to let it go. I don't have to pick it up. I can release it back to the universe with love, with light. I can let it go. And sometimes this exercise needs to be repeated several times because often our mind, our brain will kick in and say, oh, remember that happened? Remember how that felt? And I'll remind myself, yeah, I do remember how that felt. And I let it go. I put it down. And if I have to grab another piece of rose quartz and do the whole process again, I will. I give myself permission to put things down. The other thing that I work really hard at is I work really hard at staying in my own lane, in my own vibration, staying on my own magic carpet, if you will. And the reason that that is so important is sometimes we get pulled into things that are not ours to pick up, that are not ours to dance in. And it's okay to give yourself that permission to say, nope, not my circus, right? Not my circus, not my monkeys. And it kind of keeps us in alignment into our own vibration and not getting pulled into things that really either are not ours to pick up because sometimes it's really not our business to, to interfere in anybody else's lessons or to dance in something that isn't our song. Now for me, the other thing that is really powerful is sometimes I do like to burn. 
So if there's an experience that um, does sit a little heavy with me, I need permission sometimes to get it out. And for me, I like to write. I will write out, you know, with love. Um, you know, just an example, dear Lana, you had this experience today. Um, it has brought you this learning. I always list the learning. I always list how grateful I am for the experience. I always acknowledge the lesson learned. And then with love, I, I safely burn, burn the letter and I give it back with love to the universe. Just simply loving the experience with, without a vibration of negativity or resentment. I, I put it, I put it down. I also am very cautious on my experiences to process them as they come. I, I, I try not to suppress anything. Oh, there's a lesson. Let's deal with it. Let's face it. Let's love it. Let's tap into that. Let's really look at it. And then I visualize myself putting it down. And for, I'm a very visual learner. I like to visually do things. And sometimes and I will literally pick up an item. I'll pick up a situation and I will walk around the house with it or I'll walk around the forest with it. And then I'll, I'll literally bend down and put it down. I don't need to carry it. I don't need to carry that. I needed to experience it. I needed to feel it. I needed to learn it, but I don't need to carry that anymore. It's okay to acknowledge it and put it down. Practice your own methods of, of putting things down on acknowledge, acknowledging the lessons, loving the lessons, enjoying the journey and putting it down. Give yourself permission. We all need permission to put things down sometimes. I really hope that this video has given you, you know, a little bit of insight, maybe some tips or some tricks, and you're always welcome to make it your own. I am wishing you love, light, and a spirit guided.